What is the biggest mistake women make in marriage? Woo! You coming at me some good ones here, Sean. <laughs> some good questions. Biggest well, well I'm, I watch your show, and now you know I'm like, it's it's your turn now. All right, all right. Biggest mistake. I feel that submission is one of the top mistakes that women make because you know we're raised to be independent. We some of us have been told we don't need a man and we can do things on our own and make your own decisions and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, when you get into a marriage a relationship that's headed towards marriage, you do need to submit. And that I had an issue with that because I was raised by a strong woman, my grandmother, and she taught me to just do things on my own. Don't worry about it. You got it. But when you get into a marriage and your husband say, you know, babe, I think we should stay home or we should do this. We should do that. Don't try to argue with him and say, well, no, 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 no. You know, if he's the head of the household, because that's the way God um, established this marriage thing, right? The man is the head of the household. He leads the household. Then it's our job as women or as wives to follow, to follow. Now, somebody may be asking, well, what if I can't follow him? He's just messing up, doing all kinds of stuff. Still, it says, it didn't say submit if he does things right. It says submit, wives submit to your husband. So, you know, I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that we make. And as we're talking about forgiveness, I'll also say another thing is when you do forgive, forgive. Don't keep bringing that thing up when you get into an argument. Royal, you remember? Two months ago, you did this and I forgave you. No, 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 no. Got to let it go. Got to let it go. If you truly have forgiven, mm -hmm. got to let it go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, because you can get into those heated arguments. You arguing about something else. And next yeah. thing you know, you know, she didn't bring up, well, well, did Keisha submit to you? You just like... <laughs> <laughs> what does Keisha got to do with this yeah <laughs> yeah no so I no I totally understand so uh please don't come for us in the comment section because uh th that's a very controversial topic when you talk about submission yes especially, it is. especially in, in in today's age but I'm glad that you brought that up because they're um women are independent I, I guess and while we're here I would like to ask you this as well and, and maybe you, you can't speak for all women, but maybe just kind of give me some kind of share some light on this. Mm -hmm. Why is it that some women get in relationships with a man who you don't trust his leadership? It's like, why would you be with somebody if you don't trust their decision making? That's a good question. <laughs> I Me mean, personally, I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, trust is a huge component in a relationship or a marriage. And if you don't trust the person, why are you there? I, I don't know. Maybe there's some other um, things that he, he is providing for her. I, I don't know. But trust is big. No monetary value for me, for me personally speaking, you can't put any monetary value on trust. I don't care how much money you make, how whatever, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in, all of that, where your status is. If I can't trust you, then we really don't have anything. So I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. they're, like I said, maybe that he's providing something or uh, bringing something to the table that she can kind of overlook the trust factor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That was a good, that's a good question. We should survey some women and find that out. I agree. Yeah, let's let's tag team that because I'm just yeah. dying to know because I can post that on social media and nobody won't respond. And I'm just like, I know you saw this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we should talk about that. Um, yeah. how how do you know when you have forgiven someone? Oh, yes. You know. When you know you've forgiven someone, 